My name's Elisa Arcicero and I'm the workshop leader here um, for these three workshops that we've had using stroke survivors um, and uh, speech and language therapy students um, combined. So I've had them working in pairs each week and we've been using different creative methods and materials uh, to explore communication techniques. Yeah, I think it's been going well. As like from the first week to now, it's like progress, like little by little, we get to know each other a bit better. For me, when I was asked to kind of be involved in the project, it was a great opportunity for students to actually meet some people with aphasia. So they're in the third year of study and they might not have met somebody with aphasia. So it's just really to see the person behind um, you know, the communication difficulty and to get some experience in a real um, practical kind of um, safe environment to kind of practice it. For the stroke survivors, I think showing them that there are, particularly for people with communication difficulties, there are other ways of being able to express um, their thoughts and feelings and emotions, particularly a lot of them here have got no expressive speech at all. As you can see, they're, they're getting involved and joining in um, and being able to say what they want in another way, so it's amazing. It helps you to like engage with a bit more, like look at it a different way. The first week we did creative writing techniques uh, and we also did drawing with charcoal. The second week we were using collage with shapes and colours, so we were using different shapes and different colours to represent emotions um, and we were creating emojis, so new emojis to represent emotions. So everybody knows what an emoji is, uh, the Stroke Association have used a campaign which is use emojis to represent how you feel uh, and this was building on that. And this week, this final week, we are working with text uh, and we're working in a very visual way uh, with text, with found text mainly. Uh, so cutting up different, um, different pieces of text from newspapers and magazines, putting them together to create something um, quite funny often. Other times you get surprising results which are quite poignant pieces of work. So with that, I'm just trying to get people not to fear text as much. It's, it's a good idea because um, writing and reading, it's, it's fine because, um, but very confusing. It's a nice way for students and uh, people who had stroke to come together. The emphasis is not so high on conversation skills. It's a lot about non-verbal communication as well. I think it all creates a really nice and relaxed atmosphere. Determined as ever. To, to just determined. That's uh, just university is cited but com more than ever it's uh, more than ever determined.